Hey guys, fans of Zetson XZT here with another video to get another toy review of the Ultra Monster 500 series, Sadora. Sadora. I think that's a name. I don't know, I can't pronounce stuff for now. Or, I can't pronounce stuff nowadays. Anyways, before, before we take a look at this figure, let's take a look at the tag he came with. Now, here is his tag. As you can see, I got the Ultra Monster 500 series version, the old one, the classic ones. There is Sadora with, I don't know who that is, that could be Tillerson. No, figure number 61, uh, Bandai logo, and there's a nice image there of Sadora. Pretty sure that's his bio and stuff like that. So yeah, you can see that. Uh, sorry if the camera is way too bright, it's because I'm using studio lights now, or using my mother's studio lights. I mean, yeah, it's yeah, she can let me have it, so yeah. I only record videos when everyone's out of the house for, like, temporarily. So yeah, that's the tag. Now, let's take a look at the figure up close. Now, I got this figure from Amazon Japan, so if you want to get yours, um, check Amazon Japan if they have any for, avail for available. And, yeah. Hang on, let me just reorganize the lights around me. There you go, that should be better. Anyway, let's take a look at the figure up close. Hang on. Okay, there. That should be good enough. Alright, let's take a look at the details up close. Nice head sculpt and uh, teeth they molded in. As well as the uh, nice scratch detailing they did to the figure as well. Makes it look like he's been through in so many battles against monsters to survive, survival of the fists. Fetus, I don't know. Nice silver there for the claws, as well as detailing on the claws. I like how they put some sharp edges on there. Now I can see a fingerprint right there. That's rare for me to say. Hang on. Oh geez, now that's really bright. Hold on. There you go, that's better. So you can see the detailing is way better. It's really chubby. And his little feet. Claw feet. Hang on. Oh geez. Sorry guys, I had to change the um, I had to change rooms because my parents came back. But anyway, let's continue looking at the details from the the back as well. There you go. Now let's take a look at the details. In the back. I really like the line they put in, as if the the suit actor can get in there and become pretty much become Sandora. And nice detailing on the tail overall, that looks like rubber. So yeah, really nice detailed figure overall. Uh, articulation wise, uh, hang on. There you go. Now articulation wise, the arms can do a full 360. And the wrist, I uh, cannot do articulation. Uh, head articulation, man, uh, none. Um, tail, swivel, it can rotate all the way around. So, it can do that. Hold on. There you go. So, yeah. Also, it has a spark doll skin, as you can see right there. So, yeah, let's try to get that out of the way. Uh, where am I getting a spark go? Wow, I lost- oh, there it is.
So yeah, isn't that exciting that I'm doing, um, getting, uh, Spark Doll video scanning the toy in 2021? You don't see that every day. Anyways, let's do some size comparisons. Here he is next to Ultraman. So you can see the scale between these two figures. And Here he is next to Ultraman Jack. Here he is next to Ultraman Ginga since he last appeared in Ultraman Ginga S. It's kind of sad he wasn't used ever again. Not even Ultraman X or Geed or yeah. And here he is with my uh, Ultraman Z figure. Here he is next to my um, Figma Diva. Here he is next to my Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. Oh jeez, camera. There you go. Here he is to, next to my um, studio series Deluxe Bumblebee, which is also known as the Buzzworthy Bumblebee or the Revenge of the Fallen Bumblebee. But it's for those Transformers fans that are watching the channel. Here he is next to a Deluxe Scale figure. And last but not least, here he is next to my Yapool figure that I will do a review on reason later on. So there's that. Now, that was my review of the Ultra Monster 500 series, uh, San, Sandoran, San, Sandora. I think that's his name. I'm sorry, I can't pronounce names. I don't see him that much, ironically, in the Ultraman series, and I kind of forgot about him. But hey, I got a figure of him, that's nice. I always wanted. I also wanted to pick this figure up back in 2013, or 14, I can't remember. So anyways guys, I uh, hope you guys um, like this video, uh, what I think about this figure overall. Overall this figure is really decent, nice modern update figure of the, the character itself, Sandora. And yeah, I think if you want to pick this figure up, uh, check Amazon Japan to see if they have any. If not, check eBay to see if there's any used ones for a better price or a good price. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.